magnify you. We glorify your name. And Lord, we say, have your way in the name of Jesus. I am Pastor Anthony. Pastor Rebecca is here on this afternoon. Again, welcome to you and yours, wherever you're watching from, wherever you're listening from. We believe that the blessings of the Lord are rich and going to add into your life. The Bible decrees and declares that God said, I'm going to bless you and your children more and more. And as we get the more of God, I believe God is about to release more blessings into your life. God is going to give you a more and a greater anointing. God is going to give you more, amen, increase in the area of the desires of your heart. I believe that God is going to multiply, amen. Glory be to God, that thing that you need increase in. So get your hearts and your minds ready as we go forward with the service on this afternoon in the name of Jesus. You know, it is funny here in Jersey, it is snowing again. And I am a stickler for the weather because as a FedEx courier, I listen to a lot of weather reports. And I was tuned into what they were predicting about this current storm that they said is on us right now. They said it's going to be a quick moving storm. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Unlike the last storm that lasted about three days, they said this is going to be about three hours. It's going to move quickly. But they said it's going to be a, maybe a coating in some areas, but possibly at the most three to six inches, which is a half foot of snow. But I'm here to announce to you, as I monitor and look out my window, even now, I, I'm thinking it's at least a foot of snow. Come on, somebody. So God is saying, and he said to me, he says, son, I know what's coming down from heaven. Woo! Glory to God. Glory to God. Did you hear that? God said, I am the only one. Thank God for meteorologists. Thank God for the weatherman. Thank God for predictions. But God said, ultimately... I am the one, because the Bible says every good and perfect gift comes from a, above. And we heard from Isaiah that he give the snow and the rain to the earth, that they can give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Yeah. So when the rain and the snow comes down to the earth and waters it, it is the plan of God how much he wants to give us. And I'm going to pray but as you are watching, as you are listening, I believe that even though people have predicted and maybe you're thinking small or smaller than you should, I'm here to tell you that God is thinking bigger. God is going to do more. God expects the greater for you and I. God wants to bless you so much so that you don't have room to receive it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So let us pray on this afternoon. So get your hearts and minds ready because I believe God, God is going to do something mighty in your life. Even as the snow is coming down, I believe God blesses and going to come into your life. Father, we thank yes, you. Lord. And we came to praise your name. Yes, God. It's snowing here in New Jersey. God, we just overcame Dang. a serious a snowstorm. They said it was a record-breaking snowstorm. And God, I believe by faith in the name of Jesus that we are on the verge of a breakthrough. Yes. We are on the verge, God, of a miracle. Somebody right now is at the door yes. of a suddenly. You, oh, in the name of Lord. Jesus, Hallelujah. suddenly God is going to turn that marriage around. Suddenly, God is going to fix your body yes. and heal you. Oh, it's going to be a yeah. suddenly yeah. in the name of Thank Jesus you. that's going to hit your life. It's not going to take God long. So, God, I'm praying yes. as we have been enduring this pandemic, we have been enduring, God, so much going on in the land of our lives. Yes. So, God, Thank we are giving you. ourselves away yes. on this Thank afternoon. You, oh, God, we surrender Thank all you. unto you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. So I'm praying, God, for that one who is getting weary, that one who feels worn out, that one, God, who feels overwhelmed with so much going on. I'm praying for you, my brother. I am praying for you, my sister, that God will not put on you more than what you can handle. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says 
God will make a way of escape. Yeah. So God, I'm praying in the name of Jesus, that one who has financial difficulty, that God, you will make a way out of no way. Yes. Hallelujah. Karabashata. I am praying in the name of Jesus for that family who is in trouble. I'm praying that God will restore every part of your bloodline yes. in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for every pastor watching, every clergy watching, yes. every bishop and apostle watching us. Yes. I'm praying, God, that God will sustain your ministry and God will work the works of your hand. Your hands are on the plow and God says, don't look back. Yes. So apostle, bishop, pastor, I am praying for you, yes. man of God. Yes. I am praying for you, woman of God. Yes. You be encouraged in the name of Jesus. I'm sensing the spirit of fear trying to infiltrate the lives of God people yes. and we're binding pastor. Yes. We're binding that spirit of fear up. Yes. Hallelujah. The wow. fear of the unknown. We're binding it up. The fear of yes. what if. We're binding it up. The fear of worry. We are binding that spirit up yes. off of our lives in the name of Jesus. So the Bible says fear brings torment and we're binding that spirit of fear up. And right now, God, I'm praying for a greater release of prosperity on every life. I plead the blood of Jesus for healing yes. and wellness yes. over every life. Yes. I plead the blood of Jesus yes. over our adult yes. children, the over the adolescent, the our high yes. schoolers, yes. hallelujah, those in daycare and grammar school. The blood of Jesus will never, ever lose its power. So I plead the blood over this church, new creation, church, new creation, Christian ministries. We plead the blood of Jesus over every life, every business owner, every entrepreneur, every hourly and, hourly and salary worker, everyone, God, who is a retiree on a fixed income. We are praying that God will sustain your money. We are praying that God will give you promotion and God will increase you and allow you to pay your bills, allow you to live the life that you want to live. In the name of Jesus, we are praying, even during this time of pandemic in the land, yes, we are praying for peace. Yes, yes, Lord. Peace. Be still. Yes, God. The peace of God being in your family right now. Mm. The peace of yes, God Lord. being in your mind right now. Right now. Yes, God. I speak peace over every problem in the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you. So Jesus. I feel the Holy Hallelujah. Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's snowing our style, but in the middle of every storm. God said, you will not fall, you will not falter. Come on. So be encouraged on today yes, as you continue God. to watch the broadcast. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Tell you, somebody Jesus. there is a word that's going to come forth for their life on today. Yes, God. Tell them to tune in and to call this a blog talk number. So those of you Facebook Live, Zoom Talk. Those of you joining us by Blog Talk Radio, yes. we thank God for you on this afternoon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're feeling so led to sow a seed into the ministry, as we, even as we move forward, go ahead and sow that seed. Because I believe God is going to bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to go into another month of March. We haven't been in our building since March. But guess what? God is good. Yes, he is. Woo! So we're going to bring the preacher up. And we thank God for you. Amen. Wherever you are, I speak peace over your life. And I speak prosperity over your life. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Can we just give him a hallelujah right now? Yes, God. Can we just give God a praise even before the preacher come? Yes. Can we just give God a praise yes. that he woke us up today, that we're still in the land of the living in spite of COVID-19, in spite of coronavirus, in spite of glory be to God, all the statistics and the uh, bad news that we hear every day we wake up. Hallelujah. Can we give God a praise right now and shout glory to God? Shout, Lord, we love you. Shout hallelujah anyhow in the name of Jesus. Glory to God.
God, glory to God. I am one that praise God with all my might, with all my strength, and with all my heart. It is not time to get quiet on God. It is not time to be silent with your praise. It is not time to shut your mouth because the Bible says that life and death lies in the power of our words, that life and death lies in the power of our tongue, that when we speak, things happen. When we say God's word, things are being performed. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. When we decree and we declare the word of the Lord, things begin to come into order, people of God, in the mighty name of Jesus. So I know I got some people saying, Pastor Anthony, I'm shouting hallelujah because I'm still here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Life ain't perfect, Pastor Anthony. I want this, that, and the other, but I'm going to give him a hallelujah anyhow. I'm going to give God a praise in advance. Glory to God. Glory to God. When you praise him in advance, I believe blessings are going to come in advance. In the name of Jesus, many of you are about to walk as I pray. God showed me a suddenly. God showed me an immediate turnaround for somebody on this afternoon. I was in the book of Exodus this morning, and I was reading the Bible of God. And the Bible says, people of God, they went to bed slaves one night, but they woke up wealthy, free men and women the other day. <laughs> Did you hear God? I said they went back in Egypt. Back in the days of Moses in the book of Exodus, the Bible says they went to bed one way, but the next day they woke up after God dealt with Pharaoh and the people of Pharaoh's army killing the firstborn. The Bible gave the people of God instruction to ask the Egyptians for diamonds and gold and silver and wealth. And the Bible says, hallelujah, the people of Egypt, gave over to the people of God wealth. They were slaves, and now they are wealthy. And it happened just like that. It was an immediate turnaround. It was a suddenly, glory to God. After 400 years of slavery, it was a suddenly. And that's what God is saying to somebody today. I'm going to, it don't take me long. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It does not take me long to turn that sickness around, Amen. to turn your finances around, yes. to turn that marriage and ministry around. Yes, God. Just turn around. Glory to God, because God's about to turn it around in the name of Jesus. So we thank God for the preach word that's about to come forward in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Come on and give God some praise for the turnaround. Amen. Hallelujah. God is turning some things around on your behalf. We thank God for Pastor Anthony. We thank God for the atmosphere. The atmosphere has been set. Hallelujah. We thank God for each and every one of you who have uh, uh, come to be a part of our service on today. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We praise you, God. We worship you. We magnify your name. We glorify yeah. your name. You. Hallelujah. You are worthy, God. You are worthy. There's none like you. Hallelujah. Even as I woke up this morning, I was just singing unto the Lord, singing unto the Lord. I had this, this praise in my heart. Amen. Because God is so good and he's been so good. Hallelujah. And I just want to just sing this verse uh, and just have you all sing with me. Amen. Just a love song to Jesus. Uh, I'm not a psalmist. I'm not a singer. But I just want to just give God some praise, some worship. Hallelujah. Even in this atmosphere. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice to worship you, O oh my soul. Rejoice, take joy, my King, in what you hear. May it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. I love you, Lord, and I lift 
my voice to worship you, oh my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King, in what you hear. May it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. We exalt thee. We exalt thee. We exalt thee. Oh, Lord. Make it personal. Say, I exalt thee. I exalt thee. I exalt thee. I exalt thee. Oh, Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, you are my everything, God, oh, Lord, I love you so much, Jesus, oh, Lord, I worship you with everything in me, God, oh, Lord. May it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, let our, be, let our worship be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Hallelujah, hallelujah, yes. hallelujah. Lord, let our praise be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Mm. You're just that wonderful God. We love you so much. Let our worship, let our praise, let our adoration be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear hallelujah. hallelujah go ahead and give god some praise hallelujah, hallelujah. put those Jesus. hands together wherever you are and worship god put those hands together wherever you are and magnify his name hallelujah we glorify your name god we praise you oh lord we worship you god we exalt you god you are worthy god there is none like you lord we give ourselves away god we give ourselves away god we open ourselves up we open up our mouths god we give you praise god we hallelujah. worship you lord you are worthy god hallelujah hallelujah there is none like you lord we worship you we praise you oh god with everything in us god hallelujah we thank you lord hallelujah Glory for waking us up this morning god we thank you lord for our right mind we thank you lord hallelujah mm. for the breakthrough god we thank you lord for the turnaround god hallelujah we thank you for the suddenly god hallelujah if it not had not been for you on our side god we don't know where we would be god we are so grateful hallelujah and we just thank you today we praise you today we worship you today god hallelujah we come to praise you we come to worship you god we come to lift up our voices god we came to raise our hands oh god we came to say thank you jesus hallelujah because there's none like you lord hallelujah hallelujah we've looked all over God, and we couldn't find nobody, God. There's nobody that could do us like you, God. Nobody could give us peace like you, God. Nobody could calm us like you, Lord. Nobody, God, could bring us out of the storm like you, God. Nobody can stop the storm, God, but you, oh God. Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, and we praise you, God. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We give you all glory, God, all honor, all praise. Come on and praise God. You're worthy, God. God, you're worthy. You are worthy of the praise, God. You're worthy of the glory. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are so worthy, God. Oh, God, don't let us not praise you, God. Don't let us take you for granted, oh, Lord. Lord, we praise you, God. Without you, we are nothing, God. Oh, God, we love you. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 We
much, Lord. Hallelujah. Get the glory, God. Get the glory in our lives, God. Get the glory in this church, God. Get the glory, oh God. Oh God, we give ourselves away. We give ourselves away, God. Not our will, but let your will be done. Not our will, God. Oh God, don't let us just go through the motions. Don't let it just be church as usual. God, we need you. We need you, Lord. We need you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Anyhow, yet when we praise you, God, yet when we give you the glory, we will give you the glory, God, in the middle of the storm. We will give you the glory, God, in the middle of trouble. We will give you the glory, God, in the middle of worrying. God, well, God, forgive us. Forgive us for worrying, God, when you got everything in your hands. Forgive us, oh Lord. Forgive us for not believing and not trusting. God, you are a promise keeper. You will keep your promises Jesus. to us, God. You've been so good to us, God. Oh God, don't let us be like the Israelites. Don't let us be stiff-necked and rebellious, Lord. Let us come before you, God, with thanksgiving. Let us come with a heart of praise, God. Let us pull our flesh to the side and God just concentrate on you we love you Lord oh God we love you you're worthy Lord you're worthy you're worthy of the praise God oh God hallelujah come on let's praise him come on and praise him praise God anyhow God is going to keep his promises to you God is a promise keeper God is not going to change his mind about what he said about you come on and praise him hallelujah give God the glory give God the honor give God the praise that's due to him to him only hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, you've been good to us. Thank you, Lord. You've been Hallelujah. So good. You've been so good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is, the pastor said it. God is fulfilling promises right now. God is working behind the scenes. God is moving right now. He's moving in your life. He's moving in your family. He's moving with your children. God is moving now. In the name of Jesus, come on and put those hands together and praise him. Come on and praise him like you lost your mind. Come on and praise God. I don't care who's around you. I don't care what's going on. Come on and catch on fire and give God some praise. Hallelujah. 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 God is a promise keeper. God is a promise keeper. I came in when, when Pastor was talking about 400 years, all those years in slavery, and God brought them out. Hallelujah. God brought them out. Hallelujah. And God is bringing you out. God is bringing you out. He's not going to leave you in bondage. He's not going to leave you like that. God's not going to leave you messed up. God's not going to leave you without fulfilling the word that he spoke over your life. God is a promise keeper. God will keep every promise to you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Go ahead and give him some praise. Hallelujah. He's worthy. God is worthy. He's worthy of our praise. I know it's a lot going on. I know it's snowing outside. I know it's raining in some places. I know the storms are raging, but God is still God, and God is still good, and God is still in control. Hallelujah. He's still God of all. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Hallelujah. The earth is his footstool. He sits high and he looks low and God cares about you and he cares about what's going on with you and God cares. God cares about he it. cares about it. Yes, he He's does. he has a plan. And his plan will not will not go to waste. His plan will not fail. His plan will not fail. God's plan will not fail. His plan will not fail. God's plan won't fail. Hallelujah. I receive it. His plan won't fail. Hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We praise you, God. We worship you, God. My God, I got to praise him. I got to praise him, y'all. Come on, Father. Hallelujah. You have to. I got to praise him. Because the devil doesn't want me to praise him, Pastor. The devil doesn't want me to praise God. But I'm going to praise God anyway. Hallelujah. They tell me uh, uh, stress and, and strenuous activity makes my IOP increase. My pressure go up in my eyes. But I'm going to praise God. Hallelujah. I don't care what the devil says. I'm going to praise God. Hallelujah. I'm going to worship God. I will worship God with every breath in me. I will praise God with everything that I am. Jesus. Hallelujah. Because God is a promise keeper. You better say that. And no weapon formed against me or no weapon formed against you is going to prosper. No weapon. No weapon. Hallelujah. So, so I'm not going to worry about nothing. I'm not going to serve God. I'm not going to worry about anything. The devil will try to stop you, but don't worry about that. Serve God. Amen. The devil will try to get you not to believe God, get you caught up in fear, put you back in bondage. That's right. But you got to say, oh, no, devil, I'm not going to believe you. I believe the report of the Lord. I, I'm going to believe what God says. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to believe what God says. I believe God. Hallelujah. I believe in the Lord. The Lord has spoken the word over your life. Believe God above the circumstances. Believe God above your emotions. Jesus. Believe God above what you see with your eyes. Believe God. God has spoken over your life. God will fulfill his promises that he's spoken over your life. You got to believe God. You got to believe God like never before because the warfare is so intense. Hallelujah. 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 I believe God. That's the, my word. God will keep his promises to you. God will keep his promises to you. God didn't just make one promise to you, but God has made many promises to you. Get, get you a book. Get you a journal. Write down the promises. Write down what God has said to you. Do not back up. For what God has said, God has spoken the word over your life. It's time to stop tripping. It's time to stop, um, my God, doubting. It's time to believe God. Believe God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I believe God. I believe God. I believe God. Jesus. I believe God. I believe that God is who he said he is. I believe that Jesus came and died for me. I believe, hallelujah, that when Jesus was buried, he went to hell and took the keys from the devil. The devil has no authority to unlock not one door in my life. I believe uh, that Jesus, hallelujah, ascended up from the grave huh, and ascended up into heaven. Hallelujah. He healed me when he did. Did that when he got up, he set me free. Come on, somebody. I believe. I believe God. Hallelujah. Come on and give God some praise. I believe God. I ain't got time to play play games here. We've got to believe God. Uh, well, no matter what we see, no matter what you feel. Uh, believe God. I bind up the devil. I come against every plan of the enemy that's coming against your life and trying to get you to doubt God and trying to get you to throw in the towel. You won't quit. You will not give up. Uh, my God, don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. Good word. Don't give up. Your life is worth living. Uh, God's not finished with you yet. God still has a great plan for your life. God's still going to prosper you. He's still going to give you hope for a future. God's still going to perform the miracles uh, that he said that he would perform in your life. God's still going to do it. God's still going to do it. God has not changed his mind about what he said about you. God didn't change his mind, Pastor. 
Too easy. Oh, you speak. We good. give up too easy. Too easy. God didn't change his mind. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. But I came to encourage you on today. I came to speak life to you on today. I know you're going through. I know you've been crying some tears. I know you've been going through the fire. I know you've been going through the storm. I know it's been a long time. It's been a long time. They said suddenly and immediately and, and right away and instantly. And, and God's going to move quickly and rapidly. But sometimes uh, God takes his time and mm. I want to let you know uh, that I don't care how long God waits uh, I don't care how long it takes uh, God is going to fulfill his promises to you God has a promise over your life God said he was going to heal you and guess what God is going to heal you God said he was going to deliver you and God is going to deliver you Jesus. God said he was going to bring your children out he's going to bring your children out God said he was going to turn that situation situation around. God is going to turn that situation around. All things are working together for your good. Do not grow weary in well-doing because in good season and due season you will reap the benefit of your faith. If you don't give up, you will reap the benefit of the results of your prayers. If you just keep praying, you will reap the benefits of the results of believing and trusting of God. If you just hold on to God's unchanging hand, hold on with everything in you, my sister. Hold on with everything in you, my brother. Don't let go. Don't let go. Don't let go of God's hand. God's going to do it. God's going to do what he said he was going to do. God is still a miracle worker. God can still turn the dead things into life. God can still raise the dead. God can still open the seas. God can still do miraculous uh, wonders, uh, works, uh, signs, uh, uh, miracles. Uh, our God is a, a miracle working God. Our God is a miracle working God. There's nothing impossible for God. He can do everything. He can do everything. The reason that you're going through so much warfare right now is because the enemy knows uh, that it is your due season. The enemy knows uh, that God is about to break out and break through in your life. God's about to reveal and manifest his promises to you. That's why you're going through so much hell. That's why it seems like everything that could go wrong is going wrong. That's why it looked like you were making progress and now it looks like you're going backwards. Jesus. But God says, I don't care what it looks like. I told you, I am a promise keeper. I will fulfill my word to you. I will keep my word to you. I'm not going to be slack. And my promises to you. Thank you, Lord. Man will let you down. Thank you, Lord. But God will never let you down. You. Hallelujah. You, he told Joshua. He said in Joshua chapter 1. He says, oh, Joshua, get up. Moses is dead. I'm, I'm calling you now to go forward. I'm calling you to take the people into the over the Jordan. I'm calling you to take the people into the promise. And he said, yeah, yeah, done He said, don't be afraid. He said, but be very courageous. He says, and as you move forward, know that I'm with you because as I was with Moses, I'm with you. And I'm, I'm telling you that no man will be able to stand against you. And I'm telling you that you're going to take all of the land, all of the land, and you're going to divide it amongst the people of Israel for an inheritance. I'm telling you, Joshua, I'm about to do some great things through you. And uh, remember, I'm with you. Remember to be bold and very courageous. I'm with you. And remember, Joshua, remember my word. <laughs> remember to meditate on my word day and night. <laughs> Let it not depart from your eyes or your mouth. <laughs> Believe my word. <laughs> I'm going to fulfill my my word. I want you to remember my word, Joshua. I want you to remember what I said in the name of Jesus. I want you to go forward because surely you shall possess the land. And that was the promise. He said, because I made some promises to your forefathers and I'm going to keep the promises. See, you got to understand God is with you and God will never leave you. He will never forsake you. God won't drop the ball on you. God will not forget the promises he made to you. Oh, God 
God is a promise keeping God. God made some promises to you and God is going to fulfill Thank the promises Lord. that he made to you in the name of Jesus. Uh, God says, don't be afraid. I bind up the spirit of fear. Pastor talked about that while he was up here praying. We bind up the spirit of fear right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. I bind up the spirit of fear off of the people of God. I bind up the spirit of fear off of the leaders of God. I bind up the, the spirit of fear that will make you look at your situation and say, God will never change. Oh. Oh, oh, there's some situations that you can look at and you can feel like God will never change that situation. But I'm here to tell you that the devil is a liar. <laughs> oh, God. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar and the truth is not in him. You got to believe God. You have to believe God. You got to believe God. Don't believe what you see. Don't believe what you hear. He said, that, uh, he told Joshua, God told Joshua, he said, no man will be able to stand uh, before you all of the days of your life. What that meant was uh, that there are going to be people who are going to come against you, who are going to try to stop you from getting what God has for you. And God says, let my people know that I already dealt with their haters. Uh, oh, let my people God. know that I already dealt with their enemies, uh, past, present, and future. God said, you will not be afraid. <laughs> oh, because I am with you. Oh, God. That's why you got to cultivate the presence of God. I need you, Lord. I praise you, God. I worship you, Lord. I glorify your name. I magnify your name. You got to get into warrior praise stance. Warrior praise praise this. I praise God because when I praise him, he shows up. He's with me. He's in me. He's upon me. He's my God. He's for me. And if God be for me, that's more than the whole world against me. Oh God, thank you Hallelujah. Come on and praise God thank up in here. Word. Praise thank God. Thank you for the Praise him. If God be for you, that's more than the whole world against you. If God be for you, that's more than the whole world against you. Who can stand before you as long as God is for you? Who can stand before you? He told Joshua, nobody, no man will ever be able to stand before you. In other words, you're going to face some enemies as you go in to possess the promise. You're going to face some opposition as you go in to, to, to to receive what I have for you. But don't worry, Joshua, because no man will be able to take you out. No man will be able to defeat you. No one, because I'm with you. Come on, somebody. Give God some praise. Stop talking about your haters. Jeez. Stop worrying about who's against you. Thank you. Stop worrying about who doesn't like you. Stop worrying about who doesn't want you to succeed or prosper. Stop. But God said, don't be a respecter of men. Don't be a respecter of persons. We are not a respecter of persons. Nobody but God holds my destiny in their hands. Come on, somebody. Jesus. You got to say only God. God holds my future. Ah, because he lives. I can face tomorrow because he lives all fear is God. Oh, I tell you, life is all worth the living just because he lives. Come he on, lives. somebody. Lives. Jesus lives. He lives in you. He lives in me. He's seated at the right hand of the Father. He's not dead. God's not dead. He got up with all power in his hand. We serve a mighty God. Hallelujah. We serve an awesome God. Oh, we serve an awesome God. We serve a mighty God. Ah, he's bigger than COVID. He's bigger than COVID. Hallelujah. 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 
hallelujah. We serve a mighty God. He's bigger than death. He's bigger than sickness. He is bigger than pain. He's bigger than heartbreak. He's bigger than marital problems. Our God is bigger. He's bigger. He's greater. He's awesome. He's all powerful. He's God. Come on and praise God. Hallelujah. 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 We serve a mighty God, church. We serve an awesome God. God says, believe me. Believe me. Look back over your life. I want you to look back over your life and think things over for real. Think things over. Think things over. Go beyond where you are right now. Go beyond the problems that you're facing right now. Look back over your life. Look where God found you. Look how God saved you. Look at how God pulled you up out of the pit of sin. Look at how God pulled you out the whole house. Look at how he pulled you up out of the strip joint. Look at how God pulled you out of the crack house. Come on, somebody. Look at how God pulled you up out of depression, discouragement. God pulled you out. The devil had you in bondage, but God said, oh, no, I'm picking you up from here. Remember when you first fell in love with Jesus, falling in love with Jesus. <laughs> It was the best thing I've ever done. Oh, because no matter what happens in my life, Jesus is always there to be the lifter of my head. Oh, he's the lifter of your head. Hallelujah. 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 I love you, Jesus. The Lord is here. I love you, God. Oh. I love you. I here. love you, Lord. Lord Somebody say, I love you, Lord. I love you, God. I love you, Lord. I love you with everything in me. You, Don't let the world put your fire out. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Don't let the fact that you gotta go to church at home put your fire out. <laughs> you better praise God. You better praise God. You better praise God. <laughs> Oh, because your praise is a weapon, baby. Your praise is a weapon. Oh, who you praise God. God shows up and the enemy has to flee. When you praise God, God shows up and the enemy got to flee. Oh, the devil got to back up. He has to back up. When you start praising God, he has to back up because he has to remember the keys of authority have been taken from the devil. He has no power, he has no authority in your life. So when he comes against you, no man and no devil, come on, no demon in hell uh, can stand against you. Because when you're standing, <laughs> God is standing with you. I said, when you are standing, God is standing with you. Paul said in the book of Ephesians, after you've done all to stand, oh, in your own might, you got to stand in the power of God's might. <laughs> you just got to stand after you can't do anymore. Stand in the power of God's might. Because he told Joshua, I'm with you. As I was with Moses, Moses, I'm with you. Oh, and I'm going to be with you. As God was with Joshua, as God was with Moses, as God was with uh, Joseph uh, in the pit, as God was with Joseph in the prison, as God was with Esther when she was in the king's house, uh, as God was with Paul and Silas uh, when they were in the prison, as God was with Peter, was uh, Herod, was getting ready to kill him mm. in a few hours. Uh, God wants you to know that I'm with you too. God is with you. You might feel like you're alone, but you're not alone. God is with you. You might feel like there's no hope, but there is hope because God is with you. You might feel like, oh, there's no use, but yeah, baby, hold on. Hold on because God is with you. God will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He won't drop the ball on you. He can't fail. Come on and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, God. God is with you. Thank you, God. 
and God is a promise keeper. God is going to keep every promise that he made to you. He told Joshua, he said, these are generational promises. There's some generational promises over your life. All of the promises of Abraham are generational promises, and you have inherited them, inherited them as a daughter of God, as a, a son of God. All of the promises in Jesus are yea and amen. All of the promises are yours already. Promises of healing, promises of deliverance, promises of a provision, Preaching. promises of protection. They are already yours. You already possess the promises. God is a promise promise keeper. My God, my husband, my daughter, and I had COVID. Oh, it's been about a year. Oh, God, April will be a year. Yep. As a matter of fact, Easter, Good Friday, is hit our home. And I declare Pretty that God great. is a promise keeper. That thing came to kill, but it could not kill because God healed us. God is still <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is still <laughs> God is still a healer. Still. God is still a healer. Today. He's still a promise keeper. Oh, God healed me. I'll never forget the pain of COVID-19. I'll never forget how much my body was wrapped with pain and how much it hurt. I'll never forget crying out to God on my living room floor. Wow. I'll never forget how the tsunami of the, the vacuum of the Holy Ghost, the virtue of God came into my body and sucked that disease up out of my Jesus. body. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. What is it that God has done for you that you will never forget? What is your testimony? The Bible says that we will win over the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by our testimony. What is the testimony that you have of his goodness? What is the testimony that you have of his greatness? What is the testimony that you have of God's love? What has God done for you? Oh, don't you dare sit there and not give God praise. Don't you dare sit there and don't glorify his Jesus. name. You got to praise God. Hallelujah. Because he's done some wonderful works in your life. Hallelujah. And guess what? God says, I'm not finished yet. Mm -hmm. I am not finished yet because I still have some promises that you have not possessed yet. Pastor was right in it. He was right in the word. He was right on it. He, God says, I still have promises. You've been waiting a long time, but I still have some promises that are about to be revealed in your life. In the next seven days, in the next 14 days, you're going to be able to see the manifestation of the promise that I have over your life. Somebody better give God some praise. Oh, God, hallelujah. Oh God, hallelujah. Days, days. Watch God I move. Pastor says seven days. God says 14 days. Watch God move. Watch God. You got to believe God. Trust God. That's why he said my word. Meditate on this word, Joshua, day and night. Don't let my word depart from your mouth. Don't let it depart from your eyes. See, 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 see. See, we got to say something. We got to open our mouths. And we got to say something. When the devil starts talking to us, we got to open our mouths. And we got to talk back, but not with our words. We have to talk back with the word of God. We have to talk back and say, no, 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 devil. I'm not receiving that. I'm not even going to respond to you. See, you don't even have to respond to the devil. All you have to do is start talking God's word. All you have to do is start talking scripture, talking what God said, talking that I'm blessed and highly favored, talking that I'm healed, talking that I'm delivered, talking that my God is a promise keeper, talking that my God is with me. We got to begin to talk that thing. Talk the word. Somebody say talk the word. Talk, talk the, the word, word. in the, the name word. of Jesus. Speak I'm not going to talk the world, but I'm going to talk, talk the, the word. word in the name of Jesus. I'm not going to talk the world, but I'm going to talk the word. That's good. I'm going to talk the word. Powerful. I got to say what God has to say. Talk the word. I have to say what you have to say about it. See, 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 a lot of times you, the devil's challenging you, got your back up against the wall and say, now, what do you have to say about it? Well, I have to say about it what God has to say about it. Wow. 
God has said that he's given me great promises. He told Joshua, I'm bringing you to a point where I'm taking you to the great promises that I have promised my people. Amen. Not just for you, but for your people. Everybody. That's what God is saying. This is, <laughs> Man, this is not just for you, but this is for your people. This is not just for you, but it's for your children. This is not just Jesus. for you, but it's for your mother, your father. This is for your people. This is for those that you love, those that you've been praying for. God says, not only am I blessing you, but I'm blessing your people. Oh, oh, oh God. I'm blessing your people. I'm blessing your sons. I am blessing your daughters. Ah, your seed is blessed, says the Lord. This word is not just for you, but it's for your people. Come on, somebody, and praise God because He's blessing your son. He's blessing your daughter. He's bringing your son out. He's bringing your daughter out. He's healing and delivering. I don't care how bad it looks. It doesn't matter. Thank you, Father. It doesn't matter how bad it looks, what the devil has said, what your eyes see and believe. You have to recondition yourself to believe what God has said. Amen. You got to get that thing so deeply ingrained that when the devil pushes you, you push back. Come on. Jesus. Somebody say, push back. I'm pushing back. That's my verse. I'm going to have to write that book. I'm pushing back. I'm pushing back. <laughs> I'm not letting. Come on. You got to get the, the Bible says, the Bible says that the righteous are as bold as a lion. Amen. That means we don't whip, we don't whimper, we roar. Wow. The Bible says that the kingdom of God suffers violence. It says the kingdom of God suffers violence, but the violent take it by force. force. See, 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 we got to be aggressive when it comes to possessing the promises of God. You can't just lay there and let the devil walk over you. My God, in the name of Jesus, you have power, power, and you got to put that power in your mouth and start declaring what thus says the Lord. I have power. You have the power of the Holy Ghost. My God, you got power. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Somebody say, I got power. I have power. So God blessings. says, I got power. I got blessings for you. I got blessings for the children of Israel. I got blessings for everybody. I'm a no respecter of persons. As I was with Moses, I'm going to be with you. If I was with Joshua, I'm going to be with you. I got some promises laid up for you. See, see, the stuff you believe in and hoping for from God. They, they might be new to you, but they're not new to God. Mm. God already knew the plans that he had for you. He knew the blessings and the promises that he was going to store up for you. Before you even got here, God already knew. David said, before I got here, live one day, God, all of my days were written in your book. God knew you would walk to this crossroads in the, in the road that you're at right now. Amen. God knew that you would have to make some of the decisions that you have to make right now. God knew that you were going to be fighting the battle battles that you're fighting right now. God even knew that you were going to be hearing his word that I'm preaching right now. I didn't even know I was going to preach this word, but God preaching. knew that I was going to preach this word. Hallelujah. But God already knew in advance. Hallelujah. And what he's doing is he's preparing you for the greater blessings, the greater promises that he has in store for you. But he told Joshua this thing. He said, when you bring, he said, remember to obey all the laws of Moses, obey my commandments. You got to obey God. Come on, somebody. Come on. I'm, I got to give you this. Obey God. Gotta obey God. When God tells you to change, you got to change, baby. When God tells you, no, daughter, no, son, that's not right. You need to correct that. You need to make the corrections. When God gives you the whiteout for your life, you got to use the whiteout. Jesus. When he gives you the eraser and says erase that attitude, that's a bad attitude. You have to erase that attitude. When he tells you get rid of that person, they are bringing you down. You got to stop hanging out with those friends. You have to obey God. He says don't smoke that weed. Don't smoke that weed. Jesus. 
Come on. Because, listen, listen, listen. Listen, Linda. <laughs> Listen, boy. <laughs> listen, Linda, Linda, listen. Disobedience is a key and that the devil tries to use, but it's in your hand. Wow. See, the devil has no keys. Jesus took the keys. So when the devil tries to get us to do something contrary to the will of God, uh -huh. he's trying to let us use the keys that we have in our own key, our own hands <laughs> and our own power wow. to use it for our destruction. Because Jesus says, I've given you the keys. Come on, somebody. I've given the keys to you. Jesus didn't just take the keys, but he gave he us gave possession us of the keys. Come on, somebody. We and whatsoever keys. you bind in earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you you loose on earth shall be loosed, loosed in, in heaven. heaven. In other words, whatever you disallow in the earth realm in your life shall be disallowed by God in heaven. Oh God. And whatever you allow in the earth realm in your life will be allowed by God. Come on. God is not going to make you, force you, twist your arm. God is saying, obey me because I want you to have everything that I have for you. Obey me so I can bless you. Obey me. Hallelujah. So I can get the glory out of your life. Obey me, says the Lord. I want I got all this. If you could just see, your eyes have not seen, your ears have not heard, nor has it entered into your mind the things that I have in store for you. You have oh, the keys. I have the keys. If you could just see. I got the keys. That's it, Pastor. Oh, you have the keys to unlock the manifestation of your own promises. We possess the keys. That's Woo! good. Good teacher. Good teacher. Wow. My God. So God says, these are the instructions. God has given us the blueprint. I just preach the blueprint. If you missed anything, I might have been moving fast. No. Go back and listen to the replay. I've given you the keys the blueprint, my God, to the release, the promises of God over your life. God is a promise keeper. Uh, all you have to do is believe. Mix this word with faith. Uh, hallelujah. Receive everything that God has for you. In Jesus' mighty name. What a powerful word. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus. Come on and give God some praise. Oh my God. God hallelujah. God hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. You, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. The scripture was Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 through 9. It. <laughs> Read it when you get a chance. I pretty much preached it. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Powerful. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on and praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's how God is moving like a whirlwind. Pastor said it. God is moving suddenly. Great. He's moving like a world where time is of an essence. Hallelujah. Amen. God is moving quickly. There's some people in position that God has some things that he wants to get to them quickly. God will keep his promises to you. There's some things that God wants to get done quickly. Hallelujah. Because he wants to show his wondrous works in the earth realm through you. He wants to show his wondrous works in the earth realm through your testimony. God is moving quickly. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Father God, we praise your name. Hallelujah. You, we worship you, oh God. We magnify your name. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah for this word, God. We, oh God, oh God, I'm the first partaker. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I'm the first partaker, Lord, of your word, God. I thank you, Lord, that you are so faithful. I thank you that you are a promise keeper. I thank you, Lord, that you keep your promises to us. I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for keeping us on the right path, God. Order our steps, God. Hallelujah. Show us the way to go, God. Change. Change us, Lord. Change me, oh, Lord. Change us. 
Make us and mold us, God. Put us on the potter's wheel, God. Lord, we don't want to leave this earth without you getting glory out of our lives. God, we realize that that's our assignment, that you would get the glory. That you would get the glory out of our lives. So, Lord, glorify yourself in us. Glorify yourself in us. We surrender, God. We give ourselves away to you. Have your way, Lord. We humble ourselves under your mighty hand. Strip it away, God. Burn it out. <laughs> burn it out. Let your fire burn in us, God. And burn out anything that's not like you, God. Burn it up, God. Let your spirit rest on us, God. You, and burn up anything that's not like us, like you. Burn it up, God. Sit on us, Lord. Sit on me. Sit on me, God. Sit on me. Sit on us, God. Somebody say, sit on me, God. Sit on me, Lord. Sit on us <laughs> with your clothes of fire as you did in the upper room. Sit on us, God, and make us, oh God, hallelujah, in your image. Our oh God <laughs> is an all-consuming fire. Oh, let us be that consuming fire, God. Everywhere that we go, let us be that consuming fire, God, in our marriages. Let us be that consuming fire in our families. Let us be that consuming fire in our relationships, God. Let us be that consuming fire on the job, in our businesses, in our ministry, in our churches. Let us be a consuming fire mm. that burns up everything of the devil. And when people see us, they know that we have been with you. They know we've been with you, God, that you rule and reign in our lives. They know because of the love. They know because of the characteristics. They know, God, because of your word coming out of our mouths. They know, God, because of the fire that rests upon us. They know. So, Lord, I thank you for every person under the sound of my voice. I pray over every life, God, under the sound of my voice. Amen. Lord, I pray blessings over every life. I pray that this word is embedded upon, the, upon their minds and in their hearts. That no matter what they face this week, that they know of a certainty that you are God, that you are with them, that you will never leave them, that you will not forsake them, and that you have great things in store for them. And finally, Lord, that they know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are a promise keeper and you will keep the promises that you have made to them, even the ones that they don't know about, even the ones that they don't know about, that you will protect them, that you will provide for them, that you, God, will heal them, that you will take care of their children. That you, oh Lord, hallelujah, will show miracles, signs and wonders in their lives. That you, God, will reveal your power. That you will help them to stand when they feel like falling. That you will help them to keep going when they feel like giving up. That you, oh God, hallelujah, will direct their steps, God. That you will put money in their bank account, oh God surplus enough for them and enough for them to be a blessing to somebody else that you will increase their stock portfolio that you oh god hallelujah will make their joy complete that they will have peace that surpasses all understanding in the name of jesus that they will walk with you and talk with you and you will speak with them face to face as you did with moses so, Lord, we thank you, and we praise you, God, and we worship your name, and I pray over every life. I pray blessings and manifested promises over every life in the name of Jesus, and, Lord, we thank you for healing. I thank you for Jaleel, God. I thank you, Lord, that he had surgery, God, that you let it be a, it was a successful surgery. I thank you, Lord, hallelujah, that you're bringing them out, God, that you're healing him, taking away the pain, God. That you let his recovery be swift and complete, God. In the name of Jesus, continue to encourage his mom, Lisa, God. 
even as she believes on you for her son, that you, God, who you said you won't leave her, you won't forsake her, God. Draw her nearer to you, God. Draw Jalil nearer to you, God. Draw all of her loved ones, her people, nearer to you, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I lift up tonight, hallelujah, today, huh? oh, Stalina, God, our psalmist, God, one of our psalmists, we lift her up to you today, God. We thank you, Lord. I pray healing over her body right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. You are a promise keeper. You are Jehovah Rophe, the Lord our healer. And I thank you, Lord, for healing star leader now, God. Now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, continue to bless her and keep her, God. Oh, God, let your hand be upon her. I bind up the spirit of backlash and retaliation coming against her just because she sings over the internet waves internationally, worldwide for you, God. Oh, God. Oh, Thank you, Lord, for healing her. Thank you for delivering her in the name of Jesus. And Lord, every prayer request, we lift up every prayer request right now, God. Even those who have put their names in the chat, even those who are, Father God, raising their hands, I lift up every person to you, God. Meet their need. Whatever that prayer request is, God. I ask, Father God, that you manifest, oh God, oh God, the answer to that prayer, the solution to that prayer, that you show them, oh God, the way to go, that you open the doors that no man can close, that you bring the money that they need, that you bring the healing to their bodies, that you open, oh God, their eyes so that they can see, that you change them, God, that you deliver their children, God, that you bring them out of bondage, that you, oh God, break every stronghold of the devil, that you demolish soul ties, that you increase their ministry that you bring the people, that you bring the help, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for every prayer. Thank you for breakthrough. Thank you for Kayla. Thank you for breakthrough. Thank you for breakthrough, God. Thank you for breakthrough. Oh, 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 thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Your hand has already moved over the life of every individual on this live, every individual that pressed their way, every individual that took the time to listen, even to the replay. Your hand is on every life. God says, my hand is upon your life. I am moving speedily, says the Lord. Oh, observe to do all that I command you to do. I am directing your path towards your promises. I am directing your path towards the promises that I have for you. I am directing your path towards your blessings. Uh, take every step. It's like asking, Father, may I? Before you move, ask me, can I go in this direction? Before you move, ask me, God, is this your will? I'm going to direct your path and show you the way to go. And as you go, says God, you're walking into promises. Oh, oh my God. As you go, you're walking into favor. As you go, you're walking into breakthrough. As you go, you're walking into healing. As you go, you're walking into the blessings that are already prepared in advance for you. Amen. So, Lord, we thank you, thank you Father. for this time. Thank you for my husband, who, Father God, is the man of God who serves you, God. Continue to bless him, God. Jeez. Continue to use him, God. Continue to do what only you know he is believing for you to do. He has his own life, his own prayer life. God, I don't even know what he's believing for. But God, bless him yes. and keep him, God. And every pastor, like my husband said, every leader, keep us on the battlefield with our hands to the plow. I pray for every leader. You will not give up. Jesus. You are more than a conqueror. You are warrior leaders. You will not throw in the towel. You will not close the door of your ministry. God says, no. I called you to this. Jesus. And you must get a well done. Mm. You will not give up. Thank you, Lord. So, Lord, I thank you for every leader. Every Bless their families, God. Leader. I pray for every person who's grieving. I pray healing over every person that's grieving. I pray for my sister, Renee. Jesus. I pray, Father God, for breakthrough over her life, touch God. Her, I pray that you touch, touch touch her in a way like never before. Yes. I pray, Father God, that you take the pain, take the burden, take, take the, the sting away. out of her grief, God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, deliver her from all kinds of evil, God. Only you know, God. Only you know. So, Lord, I pray for my sister, Renee, mm. that you will bless her and keep her. Thank you for Jackie and Derek. Bless Thank you for the blessings of their new home. 
Continue to bless them. They've been faithful. Jesus. Keep, keep them, Lord. Bless them, God. Bless Gary them. and Vonda. Bless them, God. They've been examples. All of these couples, both of these couples, examples of what we're supposed to look like and yes. be like and do yes. when it comes to marriage. So, Lord, we thank you. Bless my mother. Keep my mom, God. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your hand on her life, God. Thank you for touching her and delivering her, God. Thank you, God. I thank you. Touch every member of New Creation Christian Ministries. Every member. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us as a church. Thank you, Lord, for healing us. Thank you, Lord, for delivering us. We've been through a lot this year. But God, wow. but God, you were with us. Do it all. You were with us. So, Lord, I pray a blessing over every family of this ministry. God, keep their heads lifted up. I bind up Satan. I bind up the enemy. I bind up a spirit of division. I bind up a spirit of discord. And I pray blessings over these families. Bless every family. Bless one by one. And name, name by, name. by name. And bless their people. Bless every person who's a supporter of this ministry. All of the prayers that I pray. Let them come and be expounded upon every supporter of this ministry. And Lord, we thank you. We praise you. We glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Father. God, we give you praise. Hallelujah. I know you can't do it, but stretch forth your hands in the spirit realm, through the camera, through blog talk, toward this vessel that God has used in this hour. Father, we thank you for all the virtue, all the strength, all the energy, all the anointing that Pastor Rebecca, Prophet Rebecca poured out into your children on today. God, we needed an encouraging word. God, we thank you for a rhema right now word. Now, God, as we stretch our hands toward her, God, restore everything that she poured out as she loved your people, as she is a mouthpiece for the almighty God. God, you said you do nothing in the earth realm unless you reveal it through your prophets. So God, I thank you for the vocation in the office that she occupies in the earth realm in the name of Jesus. Now, God, we're praying for restoration of her anointing. We're praying for restoration of her strength. We're praying for restoration of her virtue in the name of Jesus. God, she said yes to your will and yes to your way. Now, God, as she decreased in this preaching time, God, I thank you for her faithfulness that you were rewarded in the name of Jesus. God, you said you are a rewarder for your servants that serve you well. Yes. You said those who serve well are worthy of double honor. And Pastor Rebecca, we speak a double portion of God's blessing upon you in the name of Jesus. A double portion of his blessings upon you and your household. A double portion of his blessings upon your ministry, your books, your speaking engagements. A double portion of his anointing and his power and his blessings upon you. Even as God heal your eyes, heal your body from the top of your head to the soles of your feet as you bound up that spirit of fear not just offer us but offer your personal life god says i'm gonna heal you yes. because you have been faithful you did not let fear stop you and god says woman of god i am pleased i am well oh oh hey, hey, hey. glory to god glory, glory to god glory. god says you get a yes, well god. done yes, on this god. afternoon yes, the Lord says, well done, my daughter. Before you were in your mother's belly, I called you. I ordained you. People don't know half your story, but God says, I know it all. And I brought you through it all. I brought you to a time such as this where you can speak and say what thus said the Lord. You are authentic. You are the real deal. God says your transparency today was contagious. And it helped his children. So God bless her, yes, God. heal her, prosper her, God. Yes. So God, I thank you for the victories that she will win. I thank you for the battles that's already won in her life. And God, I thank you for the prosperity that has already been ordained by you that she will walk in, even in this season. So God, the money, the ministry, 
the, the, the platforms that she would speak from is because she has been faithful of a few things and you are going to raise her up to be rulers over much. Yes. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 People of God. Amen. I tell you, I, I'm at a loss for words. Amen. I, I'm, I'm rarely there. But I, I pray you feel like I feel in this moment that I don't want to rush past this moment. I, I know when we had a visitation from God. I know when God came and visited us. And you should feel it too. Wherever you are, you should feel this encounter. Yes. This was a God moment. This was a visitation, people my of God. God. My God. Yes, in, in spite of being virtually, in spite of not being able to touch one another, even in the middle of social distancing, mm, mm. God said, yes. I done broke through all of that, ah. and I came down and visited my, my people. My God, my God. Jesus. So we don't want to move past this moment Jesus. too quickly. Jesus. Jesus. Because Jesus. God is saying to you, Jesus. through this woman of God, Jesus. not only do we got to push back, Jesus. but God said, mm. we have the eraser. Mm. Hey, hey. He said, we have the white out to white out that mistake and to erase mm. everything that the enemy mm. think he has done to shake our faith. Come on, Pastor. My God, my God, my God. Mm. She said the enemy tried to try his best to put fear in a place of our faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. She said, I know I said suddenly, but Pastor said, for some of us, we still gonna have to endure. Mm. We're going to have to hang in there, people of God. Yes, it's an expiration date. There's an expiration point. There is an end date. It's going to be some suddenlies, but I heard her, e even as God is working on me. God, I said, God is working on me. Yes. And I know God is working on you. Mm. So as God deals with us, Pastor Rebecca said, you got to believe God. Not only do we got to push back, not only we, we got to erase some mistakes and get rid of some bad people and some bad things that's trying to block our blessings. Finally, she said, glory to God, we got to walk in obedience. Mm. If I heard nothing else today, she said, obey God. Mm. When he said, change that attitude, when he says, be nicer, when he says, work on your issues, we have to believe and obey God. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. Mm. So I pray you was blessed like I was blessed. I, I mean, I, I'm speechless because mm. God dealt with me in this word. And I know God is dealing with you. She said the enemy is trying to punk us, trying to chump us off, not to believe God. And Pastor Rebecca said, you got to fight this. You got to fight with faith. The kingdom of God suffered violence. She said, we can't be timid in this moment. I know you heard the preach word. I'm not going to preach it again. But I heard what she said. We can't be wimps. We can't be weak. We got to be strong. We got to be intentional. So I know you tuned in today. And I told my wife before she preached, I said, I need to hear a word. I, I didn't know. I've been with this woman over 25 years. Very rarely does she not take a text and start that word with a text. She preached from a text, but she didn't open a text. Mm, mm, so I know the Lord was on her. Mm. She was like a, a sprinter, like Carl Lewis, out of the box, <laughs> like a helicopter, right? Lift off, not an airplane on the runway. She just took off today. And it's very few times I've seen this woman of God preach like that. That's why I know God has something in store for us. But that's enough of me. We're going to give. We're going to go home. But again, re-watch the video. Re-listen to it. I know I'm going to hear it again. Because this word was kairos. This was an appointed word. I know I got some amens on Facebook. I know I got some amens on blog talk that said, Pastor Rebecca, yeah, that wasn't you. That was God. He uses those vessels that are saying, speak through me, God. And God spoke through uh, Pastor Rebecca on today. And I pray that you was encouraged. If you was discouraged, I pray that this word got you back on course. Yes, Lord. 
So with that, we were gonna give and go down from this place because I don't wanna over talk this moment. Um, it's a time to give, amen, yes, amen, amen. I'm, I, I, God said, just shut up. It's a time to give yes, and we're gonna go down from this place. Because, you know, maybe you are between, between jobs and as we get into the month of March next month, maybe uh, this pandemic has impacted your finances. Or, or your business. And in and, and this word today, uh, Pastor said, you know, your business will not go under. She said, it's for you and the people that you love. God gonna sustain your finances and God gonna maintain your children money and their careers. God's gonna bless you, Apostle, Bishop, Pastor, and God is gonna bless your children, Apostle, Bishop, and Pastor. God, God says for even those of you who are retirees and, and, and you're on a fixed income, she said God is going to keep his promise. So when we give, that's a part of our obedience. The Bible says bring the tithe into the storehouse yes. that there may be resources in my house. And then he says, prove me not that I will not open up the windows of heaven and give you blessings too big for you to receive. I don't know about you, but I still need God to open some doors. I still need some God opportunities. Yeah. I still need God to give me some things that I do not have in my possession yet. So me and my wife, we are tithers. Yes. We are givers. And I know I'm speaking to some sowers out there. You are a gift to this ministry. Every tither in New Creation Church, we thank God for you. Yes. Every member, we give God praise for you. But like Pastor said, there are some of you who are not in this New Jersey area, and you sow into this ministry. There are some of you that's not a part of our church family, but y'all show y'all love by saying, Pastor, Rebecca, Pastor Anthony, I'm sending a seed. Because y'all are speaking what thus said the Lord. So our cash app is dollar sign, the symbol of the dollar sign nccm church that is the best way to give during this virtual uh church during these times in which we're living uh the cash app everybody's familiar with that process thank god for zoom thank god for cash app dollar sign nccm church and then our website is nccmonline.org the initials nccm those are the initials of our church the word online and then dot org. That's another way you can give and also see our messages, see what we're doing on Tuesday and Wednesday night as far as Bible study and prayer. You can go over to our website and see all the fun things that we're doing in our ministry. Amen. And catch up on some of the messages that have already been preached. So I don't know if Deacon is with us, uh, Pastor Rebecca, this time. I know we had technical difficulties last week, but as you prepare your offerings, um, Deacon, if you're with us, we want you to pray as the people of God give on this afternoon. And we're believing not just for their finances, but for their families. Deacon, are you with us? Yes, I am. Can you hear me? Amen. Yes, we can hear you. And we are ready for you to pray over these offerings. You can go ahead. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for everyone who gave, Lord. Thank you for the ones who wanted to give and couldn't give lord open doors let them give them promotions let them find jobs lord so they could pay their bills um they could uh children's needs lord you are jehovah Jireh, lord you are el shaddai you all you never leave us abandoned you always answer our prayers in your time lord so we thank you lord we thank you for blessing us, for protecting us. Thank you for that powerful word, Pastor Rebecca. You're always on fire. So <laughs> you're, just, you're just always on fire. God uses you in a mighty way. And you uh, you and Pastor Anthony are, are a powerful man and woman of God. So I know that job well done. Yes, job was very well done, as always. So I pray for you guys. I pray for God to bless you, to give you, supply your needs, to give you what your heart desires, to protect you in your comings and goings. Pastor Anthony, God protect you when you go to work with this 
weather. I let him be the one who's taking control of the steering wheel, bring you home safely, Lord. Bless and protect Pastor Rebecca's children, their grandchildren, children, all of them, Mother May. Bless and protect them all, Lord. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Come back and listen to us. This is this is good ground, and 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 you really get fed very very well with the word of God. So God bless everybody. Stay safe. Have a blessed week, and follow the guidelines. We love you. Amen and amen. Amen, Deacon. We give God praise for you. Uh, thank you for covering uh, this time and giving with your prayers. And I echo those words. Um, uh, Pastor Rebecca gets so well done from glory. And we thank God for every gift and giver on this afternoon in the name of Jesus. Again, uh, trust God in the area of money, your finances. We are praying as you sow this seed today. Even though it left your hand, it will never leave your life. Mm. I'm going to say that one more time. Mm. Even as that seed has left your hands, it will never leave your life. In other words, when you give money unto God and you sow it into good ground, there is a harvest that that seed will produce in due season. So we thank God for you who are entrepreneurs, those of you who have a, a job that you work at, even those of you who have your own business and careers, we're believing that God is going to sustain you even as we are still in the midst of everything going on in the world today. Amen. So we're going to go down from this place and we thank God for New Creation Church. Thank God for every viewer, every listener. Please tell somebody about our broadcast. We are back in prayer every Tuesday night. We're back, amen, on Wednesday night with our Bible study. And Pastor Rebecca, for the month of uh, February, for the month of February, we already did one session. But every Monday night at 9 p.m., Every single Monday for the rest of the month at 9 p.m., we're talking, Pastor Rebecca and myself, we are talking about relationships and marriage, marriage and relationships. And you want to tune into that broadcast. We're doing Facebook Zoom Live, and we are just talking about some really good things that will help your relationships and your marriage. If you want to be married, if you're not married, if you're single, I'm praying and I'm encouraging you to tune in because this is this is our second and final marriage. And we learned some things about felt relationships that we bring to the table now and we gain some wisdom of our past mistakes and the anointing that God has placed in our life in the area of marriage. And we're sharing some godly principles with you about how you can pre prevail and how you can have success and victory in your relationships in marriage. So tune in tomorrow night at 9 p.m. We are talking about relationships and marriage. Uh, come and log in uh, to the, I think it's- what Blog is it? and Facebook. Blog and Facebook, she said. We're blogging, meaning you can listen through your cell phone, and we have the video also through Facebook. So if you're busy and you're working and you want to dial in, you can do Blog Talk, the same number. 646-652-4832. Because one thing she's learned and I have learned, we'll be married 25 years this year, is that we all can have a refresher course in the area of marriage. We all can be taught something. We all need help in the area of marriage. So that's what we want to do for you and your marriage and your relationships. We just want to pour back into you some of the good things that God has done for us. We have taught conferences and forums and seminars on marriage. But now that we're virtually, God told us to talk to some people out there who are married. It can be enriched, it can be encouraged, or maybe it can be saved, amen, before divorce court, because we're talking about marriage and relationships, amen. So we thank God for you. We're going to go down from this place with a benediction and a final blessing. So pray for us, pray for this church, amen. Pastor and I love each and every one of you. We love you with the love of Jesus. And we thank God for New Creation Church. We thank God that you continue to hold up the arms of your pastors like Aaron and her held up the arms of Moses. We cannot do this without you. We thank God for the NCCM team. Amen. And we give God praise for you as God sent more laborers into this vineyard. Let's pray the final blessing now unto him who is able to keep us from falling, the all-wise God, all power, all dominion, 
all authority has been given unto Jesus. He is now seated at the right hand of God the Father until every enemy is made his footstool. So may the peace of God that Jesus left us in the earth realm be with you. Jesus said, my peace I give to you, not like the world, but my peace I give to you, it will remain. So the peace of God be with you and your family over that problem. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. It's not conditional. And may that joy bring you strength. Finally, the love of God. Wow. God's love is with you, beloved. The Lord loves you. So may that love embrace you and your family, hence now and forever. People of God, say amen. Let's go down from this place and serve the Lord with all of our heart, all of our might, and all of our strength. We love you. Tune in next Sunday. We will be here next Sunday, tomorrow night at 9 p.m. as well. God bless you. Tuesday is prayer. Wednesday is Bible study. God bless you so long. Have a great day, even in the snow here in New Jersey. God bless you. God bless, God bless you, bless everybody. You. Have Love a you. Day. God Bye. bless everyone as we sign off.